The Kogi State of Progressive Congress Governorship Campaign Council has called on security agencies to take action into gruesome killing of an unarmed woman, an ABC supporter, at Koto Karifi by those suspected to be armed talks of the candidate of the Social Democratic Party, STP, Murutala Yakubu Ajaka. The spokesman and Director of Media and Publicity, Kogi Governorship Campaign Council, who is also the Commissioner for Information and Communication, Kingsley Fanwo, made the call at a press briefing held at Fidelite Hotel, Lokoja, the state capital. A reporter has the detail. In a press address, the spokesperson and Director of Media and Publicity, Kogi APC Governorship Campaign Council, Kingsley Fanwo, Say it was still surprising how the SDP candidates got away with calling a whole ethnic group a common enemy without being checked by necessary authorities. The unguarded, inflammatory, and acidic statements of the SDP candidates, Al Hadi Muritala Yakubu Ajaka, on national television have not gone unnoticed. What is of surprise to us is how he gets away after calling a whole ethnic group a common enemy. He also said they were ready for violence. His utterances and actions are not supported by the electoral law of the land. And we are sure INEC and relevant authorities have taken note of this. The spokesperson also expressed that the SDP candidate has also suggested that we are ready for violence in the election, adding that his campaign has been divisive and inciting yet he walks around spreading the propaganda of him being haunted. They commit visible crimes and turn around to play the victims. The quietness of the law enforcement agencies has emboldened him to spill the blood of an innocent woman. His desperation in the face of looming humiliation at the polls has undoubtedly put him in a very dangerous corner. Only Muritala Yakubu and the talks he moves around with think he has a chance. We assure you of justice. The mother won't die in vain. Morita Yakubu Ajaka must pay for the blood of the innocent woman. In his characteristic way, the SDP candidate through his media handlers and had claimed the poor woman was bearing arm. But they never showed us the arm she was bearing. The claim was a desperate attempt at sweeping the mother they committed under the carpet. You don't kill the people who hold a contrary belief to yours. It was crude, criminal, and callous. The spokesperson further explained reason for his rejection by the good people of Igala land. The reason is that the good people of Igala land, having followed his activities, over the years, and knowing that he lacks the intellectual capacity to represent them, would rather go with responsible candidates. He is not even near the list of hopeful contenders. He will be roundly defeated at the poll, and he will still account for his sins against humanity. Issue-based campaign entails tailoring our promises, assurances, and social contract with the peace-loving people of our dear state through the media to the people. Ododo Ahmed Usman, OAU, wants the people of the state to be convinced by the legacies of the system he served in, his promises of consolidation and continuity, his antecedents and competence, as well as his message of unity, his claim to these ideals is iron cast. Fan Wu noted that no amount of acne parroting can distract Prince Shuaibu Abubaka Aoudou. Our attention has been drawn to calls by some hired guns calling on the Director General of the Campaign Council, Honorable Minister Prince Shuaibu Abubaka Aoudou, to resign his appointment, citing divisive reasons for the call. The Director General of the Campaign Council is committed to executing a campaign that will usher in the Ododo era of consolidation and continuity. No amount of ethnic parity can
can distract the politically sagacious minister of steel development, Honorable Minister Prince Shaibu Abakaudu, from the historic task ahead. His late father, Prince Abubakar Aoudou, was committed to a united, prosperous, and peaceful Kogi state. The Director General is only following his footsteps. It is obvious that the rising profile of the minister and his unassailable roads into the hearts of the people of Kogi state has become the nightmare of these befuddled politicians. Responding to questions asked by journalists on the approach to threats to lives, he assured co-guides that under the watch of Governor Bello, the security of lives and property is guaranteed. Meanwhile, the Social Democratic Party DJ New Media Morrison Campaign Council, Isaiah Davis Ijele, has debunked all allegations led against his principal and the governorship candidate Muntala Ajaka through a rejoinder press statement made available to journalists. I am Faith Abdugafar reporting for MSTV.